The Macro Terra, I'm going to name as the weaker of the second Doctor serials thus far. I think it's a bit too formulaic without becoming enough of an interesting, unique entity in and of itself. Obviously, there's a structure here of the you know science fiction plot. The Doctor and the companions visit some place where things just aren't quite right. And then we've got the monster element as well. Now, in execution, it's difficult to judge, obviously, but given these episodes are reconstructions of missing material, as it stands, we have the, the sci-fi plot, you know, bereft of the macro, the monsters, is interesting enough. I mean, it is kind of goofy. We get a whole subplot of Ben being brainwashed and all that, and, and it's like, oh, wow, I wonder what's going to happen here, you know. But then the macro in execution as well, not ideal, frankly. Just because it would be one thing if it was played as a, a monster in a pit as part of the wider storyline and these things weren't the, weren't the pivotal focal point of, of the actual episode's plot synopsis. But they are, and it's just frankly silly that these things are... Some, some dangerous empire that are brainwashing humans. You know, these ought to have been, you know, some sort of Sarlacc rancor punishment. You know what I mean? I don't know. I can imagine reading in Stuart Black's script would just feel, you know, it wouldn't be very engaging. It'd just be, uh, it would be kind of, as I said, formulaic and not overwhelmingly interesting. Even though I was um, criticizing the execution just before, it really is the direction of John Davies elevating this into into something. It's unfortunate that the props he was given for the Macra, not ideal, although, I mean, he did the best he could with them. Being introduced to the controller for the first time as he gets attacked by the large claw, that's, that's a great idea in there. It, when you kind of watch it in the moment, it's just like, whoa, 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 what's that? But, you know, in principle, in the abstract, it's a cool image. It's, it's, it's the, one of the more logical things you may as well do with this cereal, a macro cereal. Imagine, t imagine like a crab flavored cereal. <laughs> Jesus. So, do you disagree? Let me know if you feel as though the macro terror is not the weakest second Doctor cereal thus far. And I have to say, I might change my mind, but I'm looking over the second Doctor's run, and I'm not sure if there is a cereal weaker than the macro terror. And the Macro Terra is overall, like, it's fairly enjoyable for what it is, if, if you're willing to, if you enjoy the formula, you're disappointed that it's so bare bones, although you appreciate, if you appreciate the formula, it's only so unenjoyable, at least for myself. And I'm looking at the other episodes in Second Doctor's era, and I'm thinking, I think all of them have more to enjoy than the Macro Terra. Let me know if you disagree in the comments below. Otherwise, do have the best possible day and night you have ever imagined. Thanks again, my friends. Next time, we'll be exploring the partly available episodes one and three, are, I believe, of a six-parter known as The Faceless Ones. A really good serial, I think. Thanks again, my good and dear friends.